Hello, it's Dale here and I'm doing a video showing my op shop haul for today. It was a very exciting time. So I'm going to go around the table as per usual. I got some old playing cards and I got some fabulous rubber stamps. I've got one for me and one for Patricia and they're for good for putting, you know, numbers on things crafty journal-y things anyway i've got a great big wad of um, scrapbook paper too most of it's pretty hideous but if you fold it up you can make envelopes and use them as envelopes to post things it's a good size 12 by 12 inch is a good size for making an envelope i found some beautiful vintage handkerchiefs as well they're only 50 cents each which is truly amazing I got lots. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I went to two different op shops and they, they all had them. They're ever so sweet. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I could blow my nose on that after I give it a wash. Very pretty. And that one. It's lovely. This one looks like someone's had a blood nose on it. But I'll give it a wash. I'll soak it in nappy sand for a couple of days. Thank you, Roz, for that tip. That works really well for getting stains out. Some of these hankies must be very old, I think. This one particularly looks very old. And that one's very groovy. Oops, one under there as well. And I've got these two packs as well. That's a separate one. I don't know how old they are, but I think they're very lovely. And I've got this fabric, a couple of metres, I suppose. It's a bit interesting, the Marauder's Map. It's a bit like Harry Potter or something. Mooney Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs are proud to present the Marauder's Map. Anyway, I thought that looked really nice. I got some cord, which was cheap. I found these. The Maya Emporium. And they're, they're cord. I've got two of them. But that's a really old label, back in the day when Myers first started. I've got a couple of old um, snappies on their original card. I thought that was pretty groovy. And then I've got this map as well. It's actually a table runner, but I thought I might vellumise it. Make some beautiful vellum paper, because it's blank on the other side. Quite lovely. Look at this little box, reinforcements. This was in there. I mean, there's not a reinforcement left to be had. And I pointed it out to the lady at the counter. I said, it's empty, but can I have it? Because I love the box. Anyway, she gave it to me. And then there's these index strips. Isn't that a cute little box? For putting on the files in the file folder. Filing cabinet, I believe. But anyway, I like the box. Mm -hmm. And I've got a nice little stamp. And some Christmas napkins. There's a whole bunch in there. They might be nice to, I don't know, do something with. Got some nice lace along there. Got this bundle of lace here, which might tea dye quite nicely. And this one too, this is quite big. It's got these yo-yos in it. And I thought I could tea dye that as well. That would bring it up really nicely for my grunge lace packs. And this one, this is a tissue box cover. I mean, who uses them? That'll be lovely tea dyed. And this one, some sort of antimacassar perhaps, I don't know. But that could be tea dyed. This is really sweet too. And that one, and a whole roll of lace. And it cost me practically nothing. Beautiful stuff. Then I found some stamps. Oh, look at this. Look at this receipt. 1994 Croydon North Primary School, $182 for Pacey Pancake People. And then this railway ticket, Victorian Railways, six pence to Ballarat. That's all there was, just that bit. Anyway, I found all these stamps with the Queen on and other royalty. And I thought I might do a Queen stamp pack on Etsy. So keep your eyes open. This is um, that lot of stamps I was talking to you about, Patricia. And this is this book. Have a look at this. Whoops. And Pulse Stamp Album. And it has quite a few stamps in it from all around the world. Beautiful yellow paper. That's from France. 
rather interesting. And a whole pile more stamps there. I've got a couple of red and a black stamp pad and this, not negotiable, this stamp. It's a real old one. Um, I've got some, some nice border wallpaper, which I thought was actually really quite nice. Might be nice on a journal. A, uh, a scoop for scooping sawdust into our composting loo for our visitors to stay in. Not the loo, obviously, but um, that will be the loo that will be there. Anyway, um, a whole lot of window envelopes for 50 cents, brand new. Good find. And last but not least, this box contains carbon paper. Now, I believe carbon paper is very hard to find. But look at this glassine paper. It's got spider's webs on it. You can see them there, yeah? And it's beautiful, it's never been used, and it's carbon paper. And the whole box is full of carbon paper. Must be a use for it. I'm excited anyway. And a beautiful hat box as well. Which I'll decoupage. Maybe I'll stick stamps all over it. That sounds like fun. Anyway, I had a ball. I went with my friend Roz to Lilydale, to the op shops there, and... Um, it was great. It was a very successful day. Thanks for watching.